Hello, and welcome to Geek Must Have, and this is a post bag. Got two packages today, one from China Post, and one from one of my favorite places, Adafruit. And the first package is a rattly package. That doesn't install much confidence in me. Well, it's come from Quan Ning Ban Gao, Shenzhen, Guangdong, Shang, China. Now, for all those people who are wondering if I know how to speak Chinese, I don't. But take a look at this. It says waterproof box. This probably couldn't arrived at a better time. And one of my other videos, you you will see why this is such an important package right now. Let's use my Smith & Wesson tactical knife to open this. Alright. And that's the rattling parts. And it is exactly what it says it is. This is a plastic projects box that is waterproof. Uh, it has a clear case to it, but then it also has this little weatherproof strip in here. And when you screw it down, the box is supposed to be watertight. It's about 80, 85 millimeters wide, about 55-ish the other direction and about 30 deep with the cover composing about 15 of that. Uh, my plans for this box are to use it probably for a LoRa case, for a LoRa radio. This plastic waterproof case with the clear cover on it came from May's Wholesale Store. But this case came to me for $1.87 free shipping. You can't beat that. If this box works, I'm. they also had a couple of other boxes in different sizes, and these would make really good waterproof boxes for some radio projects. The last package in today's post bag comes from one of my favorite places. You can tell by the flower here. This has come from Adafruit. I think I know what's in here, and I've been looking forward to one of these. The others I'm not really sure about. So, let's open this up and take a look. Well, there are a couple items in here. I'll take this one that's in the electrostatic bag. And this is a, uh, a TV Be Gone kit. All right. It's a kit that when you solder it together will allow you to turn off any of a number of TV sets at a location. It has some infrared bulbs in it that transmit the various TV signals to turn TVs off. I used to have a key fob that did this and it was kind of neat. But uh, after a while, the, bartend the bartenders knew what the TV Be Gone dongle looked like. It would basically kick your ass out of a bar if you had one. Me, being somewhat mischievous, I decided I was going to uh, build one. So the plan is to put this TV Be Gone into this camouflage hat. And this camouflage hat looks like an ordinary hat, but one of the reasons why I picked it is it already has a light to turn it on and off. So because it's got that, there'll be fewer questions about if I wear this hat. And it already has, as you can see, five regular LEDs. And I'll replace those LEDs with the infrared ones. There's a couple of narrow band ones which are these clear 
ones, and then a couple of wideband infrareds that are these bluish color ones. So after you solder the whole kit together and put the batteries in there, and if I can get it to fit inside of this hat with the push button, I should be able to wear the hat and just turn my head around and turn TVs off. Yeah, I need therapy. The TV Be Gone kit comes from Adafruit. It is the Universal Edition V1.2. Uh, they've added a lot more TV manufacturer codes to the chip, which is this little chip right here. They programmed, uh, as you can see, it was $19.50, and I must have bought the last one again because they're all out of stock. The second item in this post bag is combination of a few things, some stacking headers, there's some header pins there, and a hazoo board. And that is the hazoo board. It is a ESP8266 Wi-Fi module and a enough MCU on it to be able to program it to do things. They, uh, the folks over at Adafruit really took some care into building this and made certain that it had things on there that were important, like a 3.3 uh, volt voltage regulator uh, and level shifting. Uh, they added uh, one analog input. Uh, it only goes to a little less than 2 volts, but it also has nine general purpose I.O. ports uh, at 3.3 logic. Uh, they can be used for uh, I squared C or SPI devices like displays or whatever. It has uh, two UART pins on it so that you can program it. And uh, two 3 to 6 volt power things to allow you to enable this and the likes. And you program it with a FTDI uh, interface cable. Uh, it's a very nice unit and it comes preloaded with uh, the Node MCU uh, Lua interpreter. I guess it's like uh, Lua 5 point something or another. Uh, you can run the Lua commands on here or you can plug this into your Arduino IDE and treat it just like another microcontroller that happens to have a Wi-Fi chip on it. I am kind of anticipating getting a Raspberry Pi Zero W. Now the Raspberry Pi Zero W is the Raspberry Pi Zero, the very small Raspberry Pi, only it has a small little chip on it that does Wi-Fi. So it enables you to have a little Raspberry Pi with the Raspbian operating system on it that connects to the Wi-Fi so you don't waste a USB port just to get Wi-Fi connected. This is an Arduino equivalent of that with enough capabilities on it to be able to do some pretty interesting things. It also came with a set of break-off headers and uh, I thought I was getting some other headers with this but it doesn't look like it made the cut. The Adafruit Huzzah breakout board was $9.95 this is a very blown up version of it, showing the headers. The headers along this side here. Two little tiny push buttons here. And a couple of LED, I think there's one LED on here. I hope you enjoyed this video and possibly learned something from it. I uh, hope if you liked the video that you'll click on the like button. And if you have any comments or suggestions as to what to do with this stuff, please feel free to leave it in the comments section below. 
I have a companion blog to this YouTube channel. It is geekmusthave.com, where I cover a lot more of different types of technologies. One last thing. If you could give a geek a hand and subscribe to my channel, I would really appreciate it. Now, take some time off and go build something that is basically mischievous.